Elaine. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh -huh. And today I am making my version of egg muffins. Notice she left out the mick. Yeah, well, it, they're not the mick muffins. They are egg muffins. We, we, we don't do the mick. And uh, what you need, and okay, you can use any kind of meat you want to use. If you like sausage, use sausage. If you want bacon, use bacon. If you want ham, use ham. If you don't want meat at all, don't use meat. It's entirely up to you. I have three eggs here, and I've got three English muffins. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my English muffins, and these are pre-split. And just open them up. And what I do is I turn them cut side down. Reason being, it toasts that side, and it makes, for my part, makes them better. There we go. And I have a toast setting on my oven, and I use the preset setting of toast on four, and that is what I toast these on. And here they go. If you have a toaster and you <clears throat> to use the toaster, by all means do so. If you just want to heat them up in your oven, you can do them that way too. It's entirely up to you how you toast them. Or if you have a toaster oven or an air fryer, you can, you can toast them in those. All I mean, this is just a foundational basis for you to build on it sh should you wish to. Right. So I've got my toast going. I've already got my sausage cooked. And what I do... You can do however you want. I use cannon jar rings. Now, what I will do from here, I'm going to go ahead and cut my own or turn my stove top on. And I'm not going to put it up on high. I'm going to try to cook it on medium low. And I'm going to put me just a little bit of vegetable and vegetable oil in there. The reason I'm doing that is because I will be putting these rings in there and then I will be spraying them. And you really need to spray the rings or make sure they are greased so that the eggs don't stick to them. And even after she's done, there's still a little bit stuck to them when I go to wash them. Yeah, so you, know, you really want to make sure you do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and season that eggs, just a little salt and pepper, but before I do that, I'm going to take, and you want to puncture the yolk, otherwise you're going to have uh, possibly a runny egg, which I don't have a problem with that, y'all, I like runny eggs, but I'm going to puncture the yolk, here Peggy, I'll give you that fork, I don't need that now, I just need it for that. Uh. Like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on these. Just a touch. Give them a little flavor. And a little bit of pepper. And that's all I did with the salt and pepper. Okay. Make sure that, oh yeah, there's some good heat coming off that. And the first one, depending on the heat of your skillet, might run out from under just a little bit. Make sure it fits. Yeah. Now, these ain't gonna be perfect by any means, but to me, it just it helps you get an egg that's gonna fit on your muffin a little bit better. They all ran just a little bit. Sometimes that happens. But once they cook, they'll be okay. So, cut that up just a touch so it get, so get good and hot. There's these <laughs> balls right there, Piggy. One of these days, we might have one of those somewhat fancy griddles like to have at Waffle House or 
something like that. Smaller version, of course. Well, I mean, I've got my griddle that I could use, but it's a pain to get in and out. One of them black stones. Yeah. Like I've seen pooch with. Them things look nice. We've seen some at the Lowe's. And eventually we may get us one. All right, and as you can see, these eggs, they're cooking. And it's going to be a few minutes on these, so uh, what we'll do is we'll take a quick break, and when I get ready to flip them over, we'll be back. Okay, and you can tell the eggs are getting done right here, and they're getting ready to be turned. So they're solidified all the way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my spatula in there and flip that over. Flip. And once I get them flipped over, I'll take these lids off. I got me some tiles here for that, y'all. Yeah, that, that, that would be an awful hot uh, prospect there if you didn't. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that that egg kind of goes through there. That weed, I'm probably gonna go out and vacuum out the car and get the things out of it. There we go. And you can see, sometimes, it don't matter how much you spray these things, you know, it might stick. Now, this is, of course, since I'm doing the video, this is the uh, most they've stuck on me. Of course. No, you got to tell other people what you're doing. That's it. Yeah, there we go. Let me sure come off. Pig, if you give me something like these, I'm just like to give them to you. Or I'll tell you what. Okay. Let's there you go. Hey. You're welcome. We've got these. They're kind of round there. One of these days, we might get fancy and we'll get her some of them things that are designed for that. Yeah, some egg rings. But you know what? I've made do for 40 something years since I've been cooking. Uh, that's what I was waiting to hear right there. So we're going to cut these out, eggs off. Well, that's what you do when you're bored and you're trying to struggle, make every penny count. You use what you got to make do. That's it. All right. The muffins are done. I'm going to go ahead and. Either that or you do without. That's it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my eggs on these muffins. Piggy wanted two, so. I want to try two. I don't know if I'll eat two. But yeah. He said, if I can't eat two, I'll wrap one up. Put it away for later. Put it away for later. So we got the egg right there. Maybe what's called a leftover. Most of you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Okay. Let me get right here out of the way. Fine. Piggy, I'm going to let you have that skillet, so I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. Uh, and yes, y'all, I am getting ready to move stuff. I'm getting ready. That away so that when he puts it up, it'll be set in the way I need it. Thank you. All right. I can get through the dock. Yeah. The thing about this, if you like these, you can make these up. Take do a whole package of them. And if you only eat one, you can uh, make them up, wrap them, put them in the freezer. 
take them out when you want to. Put them in microwave for about a minute or so. To heat them up. And you got breakfast for the whole week. And you don't have to stop and pay three or four dollars for one at a fast food place. Or if you got young and get ready to send them off to school, you have them made up on the weekend. And yeah. Pop them in the microwave in the morning, give them a little something to eat before they go to school. And like I said, you know, it saves money. You don't have to pay that price. I think I paid two dollars and something. I think it was two dollars and thirty four cents, two dollars and thirty something cents. Or might have been less than that for my muffins. There's six muffins, English muffins in a pack. Well, if you do six of them, you're using half a dozen eggs, whatever meat you want to use. And that and for I want to say from maybe six to seven dollars, you've got breakfast for six days. Or like he, he said, if you have kids, you have breakfast for your kids throughout the week, and you can make up how many you want to make up. So it's entirely up to you. But I need Piggy to get me a picture so I, before I start to eating. And I catch him at the and you, can, and you can make them with different meats to keep it from getting boring through the week for the kids. Yeah. Like I said, you can use ham, sausage, bacon. Uh, if you want to use little chicken fillets, you can do that. I mean, just figure out what you want to use and what you like on your muffins. And eating these, I, I'm either bacon or sausage. That's the two I go to most of the time. All right. All right. And we're going to do this. Yeah, I know it's good because we have these quite a bit. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. Diggy over here washing dishes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I got a bigger box than normal, y'all. Hmm. I can get that swallow down. But it loves it can be a little chilly. Yeah. They're good though. Really good. And they're not as bad for you as white bread. That's it. Actually these are healthier than croissant, biscuits, and regular white bread, love bread. Well, yeah, I hope y'all like my little breakfast hack and uh, homemade egg muffins. I thank you for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where about more?